It's, it's a long-term vision. It, it's my long-term goal. My long-term dream is to become a Chinese-made, uh, international leading pioneer brand for tourism. Did I like golf? Um, no, I didn't. When I was studying, as I said, I, was, I played a lot of contact sport, vicious sports. So I always thought that golf was, um, was a retirement game. It's not until I came back to assist my father with the development, then I realized that golf is a business language, is a social networking tool, it's an extension of the office, the golf courses. My father was a self-made man. He's Chiu Chinese, born and raised in Hong Kong as well. So obviously, being a Chiu Chinese, if you know any of your Chiu Chinese friends, that they're very traditional and very disciplined. Uh, it's not until I was six, he got his first automobile. But then I realized that all those times that my father have, have been outside of home, leaving work early, coming back late in the evening, because of local transports, um, that's what bring the, the, the betterness of, of, the, of the family's um, well-being. I've decided to help my father when I was six years old. When I first studied abroad in Canada, in Toronto, it was, it was really tough because I, I couldn't speak English. That's when I knew that um, you gotta, being a Chinese, studying abroad, living abroad, you gotta gain, you have to work extra mileage to gain your respect from the others. The making of Mission Hills, it was so tough that I realized that it is time for me to give back to the family, to my father. So um, instead of doing my four years of college, I crammed it, I did a crash course into two years, 24 months. That's when disciplinary came about. But in terms of the body, I didn't, I didn't take into that disciplinary action until I was 32, when my father was diagnosed with uh, the last stage of uh, the fourth stage of cancer. That's when I really had to pick up the business. So the first thing I have to do is to, 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 to build a better mindset, willpower, and of course, the body. So that's when I started to change my diet and to my uh, working, sleeping habits. So in English, it is, um, to develop a business is tough, but to sustain a business is even tougher. In that case, why don't I be a, a new entrepreneur myself, to innovate, to develop new business. I guess that's the biggest difference between my father and I is the business model development. Um, everything my father does in the past is 100% is owned and privately developed. Whereas now I work with multiple partners, um, leveraging brand power and, and, and everyone's know-how to for, for a faster pace of growth. Mission has always been a luxury brand. And of course, there's been a crackdown on luxury consumptions throughout China. So that's, that has been a challenge. So I have to change the model of the business. And that's what my team and I have done collectively and successfully have done, is to, is to, is to welcome the general tourism as a result, Mission Hills have grown to, 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 to develop golf and more. How was I able to attract not just the golfers, but the golfers, parents, their spouses, their children? So all of a sudden, I'm targeting not just the 5 million golfers that exist in China, but I'm tar targeting the, the greater population that wants lifestyle, that likes tourism as a whole. And I always tell my colleagues, if we have different values, it's better off for you to move on because you will drag my development, you will drag me from my, from my pace of work. Likewise, if we have different core values, you won't be able to grow as fast as the others who believe in my value. I think church CSR is, is not, it's not just about giving money, but it's in fact, it's how, what else can you do? that can help change people's lives. Um, even in education, for instance. How is it that we, Mission Hills, can help the, the, the younger generation, Mission Hills Maker, have created an incubator, a platform for new young business entrepreneurs to cross the border to 
set up their ventures in Shenzhen. Soccer, football, there's also tennis. We're working, we, we're working with Boris Becker in creating the Boris Becker Tennis Academy. These are sports that, that, that Chinese can really excel in. We don't have to hide, we don't have to build, but we have the tactics, we have the, we have the momentum. So, so, so these are, that's why we work very closely with the sporting bodies to help uh, train uh, many more athletes so that they can make China proud. It's a corporation where there's a lot of heart and that's, that's the biggest, I think that's not just a lot of heart but also very patriotic. It's a corporation where I, w I would use the word family business, it's not because of the family members but the team collectively have grown to become a family together.